Yeah, good morning people. Why did I move to New York? Why do I still do music when I'm older? You know what I mean? First of all, the New York situation. Bottom line, I came up to New York because, um, you know, I'm an MC. I come from the 90s era, golden era of hip hop. Um, so, you know, I'm a wordy, lyrical MC. And that's just not what Atlanta is into. Probably never really was, but that's not what Atlanta's market is right now. You know, Atlanta is trap music, dance music. You know, it is what it is. Um, and I've been, you know, I've been on radio in Atlanta, on commercial radio. I've done shows with whoever you can name. You know, I've, um, you know, I've been working and trying to make Atlanta accept my music for my whole life. And, you know, it hasn't really got me where I want to get to. You know, I've, you know, I've been on the, you know, I've been on the grind out there forever. And, you know, it's cool because I love Atlanta, but, you know, I got to do what's, what's good for me. Um, and, you know, New York is the, you know, it's the birthplace of hip hop, you know, and I'm taking notes from people like Jay Electronica, from J. Cole, who didn't fit the market of where they lived and they had to go somewhere and, you know, they came here. I mean, they went a lot of places. Well, Jay, uh, Jay Electronica did. He went to the D. I think he was in Philly. He was definitely in New York, you know, for some amount of time. And that's kind of the approach I'm taking. Like, I'm trying to go to Miami. I'm trying to go to Cali. I'm trying to go to um, Detroit. I'm trying to go to different places and, you know, really put it down in those underground markets and just, you know, let other markets, you know, gravitate towards me or whatever. Um, the other thing with the age uh, I hear a lot of people who be like, you're not 20 anymore. This is a young man's dream. My thing is, it's not a dream for me. I am, you know, 2013 ranked uh, top 50 indie MCs in the country. You know what I'm saying? Um, I, uh, you know, um, I was on a wake up show recently. I'm still getting featured on blogs. Woo -woo. You know, I got supporters who rock with me. I need more, but I do. Um, and it's like, shit, I never had time to really think about my age because I was working. So this, you know, age just crept up as a, you know, as an extra expense of time passing. But it's not like I just woke up at like 35 or something and was like, yo, I'm just going to rap. No, this is my life. This is what I've been doing. And I'm not going to stop doing it. I sacrificed too much money. I've damn near sacrificed my relationship. I've sacrificed time, energy, woo woo. And I'm a hard-headed fuck, but I feel like, you know, in this game, all you can do is do the work. Whether you're a rapper, an actor, a comedian, a singer. The only way to make it pop is to keep on pressing, keep on pressing. And while I don't think uh, that I'm about to be like, you know, fucking the next young thug, or just be on constant rotation, MTV, BET rotation. But I do think it's a middle ground in music for the indie artists to still make you know make some money and do what they love at the same time so you know i ain't gonna keep y'all all day but yeah why did i move to new york why am i still rapping when i'm not 21 years you know 21 years old anymore it is what it is man and, you know this is what i know this is what i do this is my passion this is my love hip-hop music you know what i'm saying so that's what it do man shout to the atl Shout to Queens. I'm out here at 50 Cent's Community Gordon, like Black Jesus, Community Gordon. And, um, you know, over here at Baisley, shout to Baisley, Jamaica, Queens in the building. But yeah, man, I'm out like that, man. Real nigga rap is back. Check out Afro-American Psycho music video. It was recently uh, featured on WeGoingIn.com. And uh, check out the new joint, um, ironically, uh, Pop That Pussy, which would kind of fit the Atlanta strip club market. You know what I'm saying? I like the beat. My homie Maestro Lunch from Queens on there. The homie Gutter uh, Baby from Detroit is on there. And of course, you got Locke on there, repping the ATL and Born in the D, you know. So shout out to Detroit for sure. Um, and I'm out like that, man. Real nigga rap is back. Thanks for the support. And um, man, I don't know how to stop. So it is what it is. One.